Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and a continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. And today we got a fun and sort of different video for you because I want to talk about all of the arcade cores that you should be playing, some of my favorite games, some common ones, and some deep cuts because there's been so much stuff added to Mr. on the arcade side and there's been so much that's already existed there that maybe you missed. We're going to be talking about all that today. Before we get too far involved, though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But right off the top, this is filled with awesome Capcom cores that were made by Hotego. And I'm only going to talk about a few of them because I could talk about them all day long. But one of my favorites on the fighting game side is Darkstalkers Revenge 2. I love this game and I love this variant of the release and I feel like it's one I don't really hear many people mention. Of course you're going to hear about all of the Street Fighters and things such as that, but the entire Darkstalkers franchise is an absolutely incredible time and it is perfect here on Mister. I recently sold my Capcom CPS2 multiboard and some original B boards as well because I hadn't taken it out of the closet for over a year once all of these cores were available. If you've never played Vampire Hunters or Darkstalkers, you owe it to yourself to play at least one game in the franchise. Take my word for it, it is absolutely spectacular. Now a newer core for a very expensive game is Truxton 2. This is a vertical Itate shmup. I have this on the FM Towns Marty, but the arcade version is the best version to play, and what it's doing here on Mr. is spectacular. This is a hard as nail shmup. It is not a bullet hell shmup but it is going to be as difficult as one because let me tell you when you die in this game you are going to get absolutely punished and sent back but again it's a deeper cut game you're not going to hear every single person talk about Truxton 2 and even if you pull up a list of shmups maybe only like 30 to 40 percent of them are probably going to mention Truxton 2 but it's incredible that it's on Mr. because this is a great game that you should be playing and as far as my knowledge of the board is concerned this feels absolutely perfect. I could compare it against the FM Towns Marty version, but honestly, that's an inferior port. But this feels like the Truxton I know and love, and you should be playing it. Also, it's called Tatsujin O, in case you were curious. Now, another more recent core is SAR or Search or Rescue from SNK. And just a heads up, I'm not going to be showing you any Neo Geo games in this video, and that's just because they live in the console folder. Sure, they're arcade games, but I had to draw the line, and I drew it here, but of course I had to have something from SNK on the list. And Search and Rescue is an absolute blast. It's an eight-way run-and-gun game with some awesome zombie exploding violence, and I love the art style in this one. When you blow that zombie up, those neon entrails just go all over the screen. And it's great to have something like this on Mr. as well because it's not a very common arcade board and I do not hear many people at all talking about SAR when they talk about the arcade games on Mr. and that's part of what this video is. I want to talk about some obvious choices that maybe you just didn't know existed but I also want to talk about some deep cuts. This is the type of game incredible as a one player game but you get a friend, you get some drinks and it becomes that much better. It's an absolutely awesome game from SNK and it's from an era before the Neo Geo SNK existed long before that, and they still exist, and they had some awesome games before Neo Geo ever existed. But let's move on to something you guys might know, and that's going to be Final Fight. And truth be told, I'm actually not going to be talking about Final Fight, but I wanted to lead in because everyone's favorite character obviously is Mike Hagar. If it's not, you're doing it wrong. And he doesn't just exist in Final Fight, he's also in Slam Masters 2, which is kind of like a fighting game mixed with a wrestling game. But whatever is going on, it is absolutely an amazing game. And this game is so much fun with friends. And again, it's a core that's available on a mister that I really don't hear many people talk about. But it has an absolutely spectacular intro. This is the type of game that is very easy to learn and very hard to master. And if you're playing against friends, it gets even better. And what other game is going to give you a peanut in a cowboy hat? It's like Mr. Peanut except from the West. I have no idea why that is there. I've always been curious. But honestly, if you're looking for a new and really fun game to play from a company you know really well, Capcom, that is not very obvious, then Slam Masters 2 is 100% going to satisfy that new game itch. But back on the newer core side from the Cave 68 k board is Espra D. It's an absolutely spectacular shmup. I love this game, and it's got an absolutely spectacular soundtrack as well. And as I always give you guys a chance to listen, go ahead and listen for like 35 seconds, and I'll come back and recommend some more fun games, but enjoy.
Just an awesome soundtrack, but the most impressive thing about the score and its performance is the fact that if you're playing on a hardwired controller, this is essentially almost lag free, which is to say you will have absolutely no issues playing this game. I'm going to show you the first boss fight from start to finish, and while it's not the hardest one in the game, if you had any lag in your controller input, this would be that much harder, and this core continues to impress me. It plays identically to a real arcade board, and it is just an absolute joy to experience, and if you haven't played it yet, I can't recommend you do it enough. But let me give you something obvious that maybe you just haven't gotten around to yet, and that is Street Fighter Alpha 3. Because there's actually a ton of different Street Fighter cores on Mr., but for my money, Alpha 3 is the one that I love playing. Now, I'm sure I'm going to hear a lot of comments down below, and go ahead and leave them, that people prefer Alpha 2, and that is totally fair. If you ask me next week which one I think is better, I might actually say Alpha 2. But the great part is... Because Hotego gave us all of the Capcom CPS 2, you have choices. This is the type of game that I keep seeing show up at different fighting game tournaments, and people are playing on Mr. Everyone's not just lugging a Capcom CPS 2 board with them anymore. People are competing on the Mr. FPGA, which means if it's good enough for competitive players, it's 100% good enough for you and I. Unless you are a competitive player, then you're better than I am at the game. But it's so incredible to have these type of experiences, and it just goes to show how good these cores genuinely are because people are competing on them, and they're considered tournament fair, at least to my knowledge in most tournaments. So leave me a comment if you know more about that. But moving back to that Cave 68K core, we have Gaia Crusaders from Noise Factory, the same company that made Matter Melee, my favorite fighting game of all time. And this is a game that you're not going to hear many people talk about whatsoever. Maybe the last time you heard anyone talk about it would have been me on this channel. It is a weird, quirky, strange beat-em-up, but it is absolutely spectacular. It is fun from start to finish. The characters are odd. The music is strange. But it is just so much fun, especially if you bring that second player. And the entire magic pickup component in this game, managing that, just becomes an absolute blast. And this is the type of thing, if you don't know what Gaia Crusaders is, and you just see it in the core listings, you might 100% just skip by and decide never to actually play it, and that would be a huge loss to you and to me because I want more people to play it because it's that damn good. Just play it. Trust me. Give it a shot. You're going to 100% enjoy it. Keeping on that beat-em-up theme, though, we have The Punisher. Now, this is not a deep-cut game, but it's definitely not to the level of Final Fight as far as popularity is concerned. But The Punisher is such an incredible game, and it's one that I feel like most people maybe haven't played. This was earlier on in Capcom's life before the CPS 2. I remember it from the arcades, but maybe you're a little bit younger than I am, and you just never had a chance to play it. But you 100% should. It is so much fun, and again, it is an incredible experience on Mr. Made even better if you have a friend over with you. But I want to hear, leave me a comment down below, how many of you have played The Punisher and how many of you are going to plan on playing it after you've seen this video. I'm sure at least people know it exists, but I know in some way, shape, or form some people are going to miss this one, and I'm telling you, don't. Now onto a Mr. Discord member request. This is Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, requested by Sanborn. I had chosen the Punisher over this just because that's what I felt like playing, and he came in and said I should talk about Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, and he is not wrong. This is another amazing beat-em-up slash running gun from Capcom, and it's definitely not the type of game that gets as much love or attention as something like Final Fight. It is the best game in which you can beat dinosaurs up. I don't get to say that very often, but it is true. Sanborn is not wrong. This is a great game, and you should definitely be playing it. Now, one more shmup, because of course I love them, and actually I think there's two, is Dodon Pachi. This is another amazing cave game, bullet hell shmup, that is absolutely spectacular on Mr. It has incredible artwork, it's got an incredible soundtrack, and again, if you're not into this genre, give it a try. Start with one of these games I have mentioned here, because they are absolutely amazing to play, and it's so much fun to learn them, memorize them, and try to get better at them. But again, I love Cave Soundtrack, so give it like a 20 second listen, and I'll come back and close out the video. But enjoy! And I lied because we have one more shmup, and that is Cotton on the Sega 16B core from Hotego. This is not a bullet hell shmup, it's not a Tate shmup, it is a horizontal shmup. 
and it's a great version of the game. This is the arcade original, and Cotton's been getting ported to a lot of stuff lately, but a lot of it's been pretty laggy. This is how you want to play the game. There's no reason to play it on any other system. This is a long-standing franchise, and this is where it gets its start, and it is just this much fun. It's the type of game that if you're really into the genre, maybe you've heard of it before, but if you're not a super big shmup fan, then it's maybe something you can discover. When this core came out, I played the ever-loving hell out of it, and I still play it from time to time when I'm in the mood just for 10 to 15 minutes of solid fun. It is the type of game that you can learn and get better at in 1cc, or the type of game that you can just play for 10 minutes and move on. But now my favorite core on Mr. is gotta be Rostin. This is a personal favorite of mine. I fell in love with this game when I was like 19 at a pizza place in Okemo, Vermont after skiing. I own an original arcade board, but now with the Mr. Core, it kind of just hangs out in my closet because it's so much easier to play Rostin on my couch from my Mr. This is an older game. It's definitely a game that I did not play when it came out because I wasn't really playing games, but it is my favorite arcade core on Mr. And leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about Rostin. I'm curious. And I'm going to have a video soon about what I'd like to see come to Mr. And there might be something else Rostin related on that playlist as well. Because honestly, this is just an amazing franchise outside of Rostin 2. Pretend it does not exist. It is terrible. And I love this core on Mr. It's arcade perfect and I can't get enough. Now we have one last viewer request from Discord, and that's Dinerto, and it is Akari Warriors 3. He actually asked for a game that I had already put on the playlist, and then I gave him a second chance, and he came up with this one. And this is a game that I don't play that often. I know it, I've played it before, but I hadn't really gone back and played it on Mr., and he actually reintroduced me and let me know that I do enjoy this game, because I didn't remember it as fondly as I thought I did. And now that I've played it again, I'm 100% going to play through with this with a friend and have a great great time and it's another one of those things maybe you don't know what Akari Warriors is maybe you just see it on the arcade listings and you were thinking I don't know what it is maybe I shouldn't play it so thank Dinerto for that because he's the one that made me put it in this video but those are the arcade courts that I recommend you check out. Sure, there's a few obvious ones like Street Fighter Alpha 3, but there's a lot of deep cuts in there too. And I had to cut this video off somewhere, but play stuff like Ghosts and Goblins. There's so much fun to be had on the arcade side. Maybe you've missed out on some of it, and maybe this will help you find some more. And I'm super excited to see what other arcade cores come to Mister in 2023, because this list and what we have just scratches the surface of possibilities. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what game you'd love to see next as a core for the arcade side, and I'll see you in the next Mister video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.